Zoom now. Congresswoman Catherine Clark joins us from Washington. Congresswoman, thank you so much for your time. Can you describe for us where you were when this mob got into the building uh, and how you got to safety? Yes, well, I was in uh, the office buildings, not on the House floor uh, when this started to happen, um, but have in horror as my colleagues um, were being evacuated in gas masks, um, being told to lie down on the floor of the house uh, so that they would not be caught in crossfire. Um, what we've had today is a, a very sad day in our country's history and uh, an attempt by terrorists, and that is what I would call them, uh, to stage a coup and to interrupt that peaceful transfer of power. And the reaction from this president calling these terrorists beautiful people that he understands how upset they are uh, as this president continues to spew his lies about the election and the results um, are grounds for removal. I think he should resign today, um, but we need to make sure that our country is secure and that we answer this horrific situation in our nation's capital today with outrage and accountability for this president. Congresswoman Clark, going into today, knowing that there was going to be a large rally outside, knowing the importance of what was happening inside, had there been any conversation through Capitol Police, through security, that there may be an issue, that there was a heightened alert, uh, that they were at least under the understanding that something like this could happen and that they were prepared? There was absolutely um, a heightened alert. I have been working with members, urging them not to go outside, to use some of the other ways we have of getting to the floor, uh, to avoid any protests that might be happening and might turn violent. But because we did know that this was such a risk, I also think we need accountability. Uh, for the Capitol Police and for those who put the protective plans in place. And listen, we are grateful to them. And I know I've heard rumors that some of them have been injured and we deeply, deeply regret that. But clearly uh, the security planning around the Capitol was not adequate. And we have to address that and be serious about making sure that we continue the work of this great nation, especially today. This day called for under the Constitution to ensure that peaceful transfer of power, um, that we are able to secure this workplace and do this work without inter those who wish to do our country harm. You know, Congresswoman, we in this country are so proud of our First Amendment right, but I think when we look at these pictures of what played out today, uh, a lot of people are, are heartbroken and feel like what we're looking at here is what you see in, in third world countries. At the time of this action on the part of the protesters, Congress was preparing to certify the Electoral College vote. Do you have any sense now when that vote will resume and and how the members will all get back into place safely we are going to resume this uh critical piece of upholding our democracy and making sure that we uphold the votes of the people of this country um, as soon as we are able uh, we are going to make sure the capital is safe and secure, um, but uh, my understanding is there's been um, damage done to the House floor, and you know that can't hold us back. So our plan is to resume tonight as soon as we are able uh, to know that the Capitol um, is cleared of those who wish to be disruptive and violent. 
and that we are able to um, get back to this critical piece of our democracy and show the American people that our country, our values, our democracy are strong and that we will not be defeated by those incited by our own president um, who wish to do us harm. And, and our, you know, unpatriotic doesn't really begin to describe it. These are terrorist acts. These are acts of violence against the American people and their will as they expressed in this election. Congresswoman Clark, one final question from me. You said in a tweet that the next days and weeks remain dangerous. That's a quote from you in a tweet uh, about 15, 20 minutes ago. Uh, what did you mean by that, and what could you see happening over the next several days and weeks that you think are so dangerous? You think something like this could happen again? You think there could be something worse? What do those words mean? You know, for me, this is the concern about our president and those who are enabling him in our Congress. Um, he continues to spew forth lies and to incite like people towards violence, um, uh, you know, all about an election that he lost and that he lost fair and square. And just this morning, um, you know, he held a rally here in Washington and continued um, misleading uh, people who believe in him and the American people. And um, this has just got to stop. Uh, I think he should resign. Um, but we, we have to be able, if we me, cannot Ashley, to remove to him from office, to ensure that the next two weeks until we um, have our inauguration for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, that there is peace and there is calm and that we are orderly in this transition of power. And it worries me that this president, even today, watching these scenes unfold, took hours to respond and address the American people. And when he did, it was wholly inadequate. And it, uh, you know, I, I I'm concerned about what he will do as he sees us complete, which we will do uh, as quickly as possible, this electoral college process and certify that Joe Biden is the next president of the United States. Congresswoman Catherine Clark speaking to us from Washington, D.C. about the events of the day and the future. Congresswoman Clark, thanks for your time.